Happy Friday. Say good morning. Good morning. Gracie is here by popular demand. Say hello, Grace. Say hello to everybody, huh? What a happy girl she is. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. I am a wonderful person. Everything I touch turns to gold. People like me. Amen. Say, Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Say, I'm getting smart and I'm smart and getting smarter every day. Talk like that about yourself. Hey, today is offering day. Guess what I got? I got a whole pile of these books. Actually, I got a pile of books sitting over there that tall. And I am ready to send them out. To everybody who does offerings today is going to get one of these books in the mail. All you have to do is text me. Now, I know a lot of you have read this book. Get one for somebody else. This is incredible. We're going to start talking about some of the principles in this book. This book is the second most important book ever written. You know what the first is. And the first is the Bible. But this is the second most important book ever written. Because if you don't do what's in this book, the Bible won't work for you. But if you will do what's in this book, the Bible will work for you. Amen? So I want to send this book to you. The Power of Positive Words. And I got a whole stack of envelopes, whole stack of books. Postage machine is working. I got that fixed yesterday. And we're all ready to go. So all you have to do is just text me your name and number when you do your offerings and donations. Your name and address when you do your offerings and donations. And I'll put it in the mail for you. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. 1,273 videos in there right now. This one will make 1,274. Glory to God, we are closing in on 1,300 videos. That's a lot of videos. She wants to come back up here. She wants to come back up here because it's offering day. And she wants to know if there's going to be any, any, any food or any hamburgers or anything coming. And I said, well, we'll get something for you. Huh? We'll get something for you. Hallelujah, huh? Also, when you do your offerings and donations today, please call me. Because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you. You know, some of you people have that blessing spoken over you for some reason or another several times a week. And guess what? That's good. It's good. It's good to have that blessing spoken over you. Mary and I were talking about that this morning because that is the word for word blessing. I told Mary, I said, you know what? I bless people the same way every time. Because that's the words God told us to use when we bless people. Now, when you need healing, I speak healing. If you need financial increase, I speak that. But when I speak the blessing, I speak it word for word the way God told us to do it. Amen. So glory to God. Hey, I want to talk to you today. And it's out of this book. How to attract good things into your life. How to attract good things. You know, so many people pursue success. So many people pursue money. So many per people pursue love. They pursue friends. They pursue houses. You know, if they if they want a nice house, they pursue. They they go after it. They they pursue their education. And and all that is good. I pursue Jesus. I pursue the things of God. All that other stuff, I don't. Jesus said, seek ye first. Seek is as actually to pursue. To pursue. Pursue the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything you need will be given to you. It see when when I was when I was a child, when I was little, and the same thing with you, I didn't pursue 
food. Food came to me. My mother fed me. She said, come and eat. Huh? Now, some children in years gone by have had to pursue food. I knew a, a man who was raised in Germany during World War II. And he was on the streets. He was on the streets when he was three and four years old. Begging and pursuing food. Everybody doesn't live like we live in this country. Amen. He didn't. And so he pursued things. And when he came to the United States, he was adopted by a, a, an American soldier. And he came to this. He, he continued to pursue things like that. He pursued success. He pursued all the wrong things because he didn't know any better. But we do. We know better. The, the, the deal here is how to attract these people, these things, how to get these things to come to you. And there's a way to do this. There is what we call, or what they call, and it's called The Secret. There, there's a book out called The Secret, and what it's about is the law of attraction. The law of it. There is a spiritual law of attraction. However, it is not the law of attraction that these secular people think it is. It's not that. They believe that by thinking about something and about concentrating on something that you can actually make it happen for you. And that could, couldn't be further from the truth. Thinking about something does not make it happen. However, there is a way to make things happen. There's a way to attract good things into your life. First of all, you have to decide what you want. What is it that you want? People call me all the time. Say, Pastor Jim, I need more money. Pastor Jim, I need a car. Pastor Jim, I need a husband. Pastor Jim, I need a good wife. Pastor Jim, I need a good church to go to. Pastor Jim, I need this. Pastor Jim, I need that. I need to be healed. I need to have success. There is a way to attract all that into your life. Into your life. Simple principles to attract that into your life. Let's start with number one. Start with number one. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Your tongue has the power of life and death over you. And you will live by the words that come out of your mouth. Jesus said, by your words, you shall be justified, or by your words, you shall be condemned. In other words, whether you're justified or condemned, justified means that you get what you want. Condemned means that everything is lost, that you don't get what you want. Opposites. How many of you know the, book is a, uh, the Bible is a book of opposites? Everywhere in the Bible, is opposites. Heaven, hell, Jesus, the devil, good and evil, love and hate, everything in the Bible is opposites. And to be justified or to be condemned is opposites. And your, your words can make either one of those things happen. Healed or sick, rich or broke, all those are opposites. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. And then it says, Jesus became poor so we could become rich. There's opposites there. Every, every, just all over the place in the Bible, there's opposites. Well, which one of those sides do you want to be on? It depends on your words. Your words will cause good things to come to you. Your words can attract good things. Good things into your life. Or your words can push good things away from you. 
Your words have the power to attract or to push. The opposite of attract is to push, to push away. And so many people are pushing things away from them. Well, I just can't find a good husband at all, Pastor Jim. Yeah, and you won't if you keep talking like that. The people who talk like that, women who talk like a lot of them do. I can't find a good man. They, they push that, those words push the woman. They push away. But if they start to say, I have good relationships. Men like me. I attract good men. They start talking like that, and guess what? The opposite will happen. Instead of pushing good relationships away, they will attract good relationships. Amen. I can't make no money, Pastor Jim. Yeah, and you won't either. Or, if you start saying things like, money comes easy to me. I have lots of money. Look in the mirror every morning and say, I am rich. I am good looking. That's part of our confession on Sunday morning. I, everybody in our church says, I am extremely good looking. Very rich and a major blessing. And then the whole church says, and Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Yes. I like to hear that. It makes me to be a wonderful pastor. I am a wonderful pastor. Amen. I have God's love for people. Amen. I love God's people. That's the number one thing about being a pastor. A lot of pastors don't. Believe me, I know they don't. Mary and I traveled all over the country. A lot of pastors don't like their church. They don't like the people in it. One, one pastor said to me, being a pastor is like driving a bus. People get on, people get off. Sometimes you have to stop the bus and say, this is where you get off. I have never said that to anybody in my church. I never would. I love God's people. And I love them all the same with the love of the Lord. Amen. You start talking good about yourself. You start applying some of these principles, folks, and you will attract good things into your life. You will attract love. You will attract friends. You will attract money. You will attract good health. You will attract success. We're going to talk about this stuff for a while. Amen. I am out of time today. Glory to God. Was that good? Please share this with everybody you know. I want you to start attracting good things. If your business is struggling, attract success. Amen. This is so easy and so simple to do. Glory to God. Go to our website, increasenow.com. Don't forget offering day today. Everybody who does their offerings, donations, or their tithe today is going to get one of these books in the mail. If you have one already, give it to somebody else. Amen. Take it to church and show everybody around. Say, who wants this? And give it to somebody. Glory to God. Amen. And then tell everybody else where they can get them. Hallelujah. Don't forget, call me when you do your offerings and donations and your tithe today. Because I want to speak the word for word blessing over you that God told us to speak. I am determined that you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And we're going to use the power of positive words to do it. And the power in the name of Jesus. Have a wonderful day. I love you very much. And I will see you back here soon.